Hello, my name is Joanne Nolan and I'm one of the curriculum managers for English and Maths here at Midland College. I'm with Simon, who is a lecturer for English. We're going to speak to you a little bit today, just hopefully to give you some advice and prepare you for your upcoming GCSE English exams. The first thing I want to say at this stage is, it's a really important time to be checking your emails every day. You'll have lots of important information coming through. Some of it might be a bit confusing and you might want to email us and ask some questions. Um, but you, you'll be receiving information about the exams, about the location of your exam, uh, about the location of the registration desk, where to park, how to get your breakfast in the morning, and all these um, little things that are going to make you feel a little bit more comfortable on the day. This information and the other important stuff is going to be also available to you in the portal. If you have any questions and you don't know where to access it, please just email any of, you, any of us, your tutor, or Simon or, or myself, um, and we'll be happy to help. Um, exams start on the 18th of May, not very long, okay? So you have access to lots of um, ways to revise those of you familiar with Sentry, you can go on to your nuggets on there. Uh, you can access Moodle, which has various resources on it. Um, we've got lots of past papers um, that we can help you with. And in May half term, we are running workshops in Medway and Maidstone on Monday. Tuesday and Wednesday, and that's a list of three. That's right, so we've got paper one on the 18th of May and paper two on the 10th of June. So you should be getting plenty of rest before your exams and don't stress about it. At this stage, all you can do is do your best. You've got to believe in yourself. Some of you, this will be the first exam for a long time. Some of you may not have taken a GCSE exam before. So it's just an opportunity to show yourself and show us what you've learned over this academic year and hopefully um, come away with one grade higher than you came in with in September. Okay. Question five on both papers carries the most marks. 40 out of 80. Suggest that you answer your question five first. Okay. I would suggest that you plan for five minutes. That might be you know, make a list on the paper or spy the diagram. Leave it there if it's labelled with plan. Whoever marks it will see that's your intention. Um, you write for 35 minutes and then you check. After that, you're going to go to question one. You'll have some reading to do first. In paper one, you have one reading resource. In paper two, you have two. That's your comparison paper. Okay, so you're going to go to question one and you're going to answer one, two, three. And then question four is going to be your last question. You need to make sure that you've got around 30 minutes of your exam time left when you start question four. Okay, so 25 minutes on that question. to read those sources from top to bottom, okay? Please remember, top to bottom. It doesn't take an awful lot of time, does it, Jack, really? You reckon you could do a source in five minutes? Yeah. Okay. You've completed the paper, okay? Use any time at the end to check it. Now, it sounds a bit daft, attempt every question. Everything that you write is an opportunity to gain more marks. Of course. So, all that's left from us to say is we really, really wish you good luck. Email us for any support, any questions that you've got, we're always here to help. The biggest thing is that you believe in yourself. You've, you've got, got this. this.